everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to Bounding in the Comics. And this is my adorable little gangsta kitty and my assistant, Zinela Sagiri. And today's manga Nerdigans live reaction video is going to be for Tokyo Revengers chapter 251. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let's just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because we are a one woman, and what a adorable little kitty operation. And we are struggling to keep a roof over our heads and <sighs> praying to the manga gods that we will not be living on the street. No, we don't we can't be living on the street. No. No. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we, me and the kitty, can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, the last chapter was interesting, especially with the Senju content, and not just because I love Senju. Um, and that was what was said to her. And she, I'm, I'm pissed off that she gave up. I'm not happy about that shit. That pissed me off. But remember, she was taking all the blame for everything. But what was said was interesting, that she was just a trigger for Mikey just snapping. And I have to agree with this. I do. Because Mikey's darkness has been building up. It's been building up for a minute. And it was only a matter of time before he snapped. And if you've ever had to deal with this, where you're... Um, where you're dealing with all these demons and you can't talk to anybody about it and you're just keeping it to yourself and wearing this mask pretending everything is okay and then you have an event that triggers it and you snap oh yes even the minor most minor thing can cause you to snap yeah so i can understand it oh damn i can understand it he can understand it too no, I don't think Kitty can understand it, but it's actually why this channel, I started doing this shit on, on this channel, was so why wouldn't it snap? Right, Kitties? Well, you don't know about the Kitties, because you came after that. Anyways, we got another good fight coming, um, which is the, uh, which is the, um, Anupi fight. That's right. Right, Kitty? You ready to join the Anupi fight? You ready? Or are you going to be fussy? Because you're against the kitty. Quit being fussy. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And yes, I know about that freaking cover with the uh, long ass necks. That shit was fucking hilarious, I'm not going to lie. This chapter is titled Get Out of Hand and. Mm, Walk away, this color page. Oh, I can't breathe. It's so pretty. This background is everything. It really goddamn is. There we go. Standing against Snoopy are the two whom he respects a lot, Waka and Benki. You trying to take on those two legends? You're on your own, you know. Shut up! Banky kind of walk are pissing me off. What's with Brahmin? Um, what's wa uh, what's with Kanto Manji? With um, what did you all want in all of this? Mm-hmm. No matter what, uh, wait. No matter what, deep inside, you guys are the first generation of Black Dragon. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame, shame, shame on you. Deep inside, I'm also a first-gen bl um, black dragon. Always have been. And with that in mind, I put all my trust in H Hanagaki Takamichi. Because second-gen Tokyo Manji and first-gen black dragon sing the sh uh, Oh my god. Fucking hell, I gotta read this again because I fucked this up. Um, deep inside, I'm also a first-generation black dragon. Always have been. And with that in mind, I put my all my trust in Hanagaki Takamichi because second generation, second gen, Tokyo Manji and first gen Black Dragon share the same spirit. That's why I will never lose, um, 
translators, please proofread because you really made me screw up just now. That's why I will never lose to Kanto Manji. Well, I do. Back when we were kids, this um, would be where I came in to save him. But now, that'd just be a selfish act. Besides, I've always chosen Akane-san over Anubi, right? There's no turning back after this. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And this clenched fist panel, this will probably be a meme at some point. It's gonna... This is the new Arthur fist clenching. Back to the fights. Dude, Mikey is just chilling. Seems like the battle's getting getting to a certain point. I'll leave it to you, Han. Ooh! I'll leave it to you, Hama. Hmm, okay. Ooh! Hama's entering the fray. Jafu, you did great, Sendo. Yeah, he, somehow I did it. Yes! Yo, the survivors of death. Hama, play with me too. Hama is just ready. He's ready to play. Are you ready to play with Hama? I don't know if I would want to play. Aura, Anubi, no! Shit, Anubi! What are you doing, Coco? Fucking bitch, help me out here! Come on, Coco, help your bro. Quit being, um, quit being iced Coco and be hot Coco. You're my one true friend, right? Save your bro, save your bro! You, what are you, we're, oh my god, this is Star Cross Bros. This is some star-crossed bro shit right now. This... I almost said star-crossed lovers. No, this is star-crossed bro shit. Oh my god. I think I just got the title for this video. <laughs> you... What are you... We're on opposing sides right now, so why are you saying things like that? I mean... Well... It's fine now, isn't it? That's enough. It's time for you to live your life the way you want to. Thank you, Hajime-kun. I see. I've been so stubborn. This is the end, Seishu. Damn. Yee! Coming in. You coming in. Yeah, this is a better, uh, this is a better bro story. I almost said this is a better love story than Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> no, no, this is bro. This is bro. Oh, this is a better, this is a better bro story. This is the best bro story. No, this ain't a better bro story than Sir Fam. Nah, nothing gonna top that bro ship. That bro ship is so beautiful. God damn it, that bro ship is everything. God damn. Coco! What an annoying guy. <laughs> Having fun watching everyone from above, Mikey? Oh, it's you. I'll be the one to send you to your end. You're not gonna do shit. Mikey's like, oh, really? Bring it. <laughs> Alright, so we got Haruki Hayashida versus Manjuro Sano. Coco is now an ally. Yeah! And now facing Mikey is his former friend. Dude, you are not going to take down Mikey. No fucking way. But yes, the star Cross bros are now back together once more. Ah, <sighs> At least this is not a Romeo and Juliet situation. Thank God. I'm so happy. The bro ship is restored. And all is right with this world. All is right in the world. At least in Tokyo Revengers. I'm very happy with this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You have been very stubborn, Coco. And you've been stupid.
I love a, I love a newbie. He's <laughs> even though Coco's like I'm uh, Coco's like, dude, I'm being selfish if I go and help my friend. It's like, dude, no, that's your bro. That's not being selfish. That's your bro right there, my dude. That's your you. If you were in trouble, a newbie would come and help you. Uh, help you too, Coco. You know this. That that ain't selfish. That's bro shit. That's what bros do for each other. Oh God, I already know that there's gonna be some nasty uh, dojenshi coming out. Oh God, I gave out ideas that there's gonna be like some fucking Romeo and Juliet bro, uh, dojen yaoi dojenshi. <laughs> This could be like a, there could be Twilight Dojenshi too, because this is a better story than, uh, better bro ship than uh, the romance of Twilight. <laughs> the bro ship. The bro ship. God damn, I love this bro ship. But no, yeah, seriously, nothing going to top that bro ship in, in Survamp. That bro ship is everything. Go, seriously, go read Survamp. That manga is so good. And yes, that manga is still going. The anime should come back, but not now because it's a dark age right now. Anyways, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. I'm very pleased with this chapter. I'm Mikey is going to whoop fucking ass. He don't stand a chance against Mikey. But we also got a new player into the fray as well. And remember what was said at the uh, last chapter about the tides of turning? This is going to be where the, I don't know if this is going to be where the tides be turning, the tables be turning. Well, with Coco switching sides, that says a lot. The first gen dragons are being dumb as fuck. It's like, I know why they're siding with Mikey because that kind of shit. But it's like, dude, it shouldn't matter. You know what Mikey's doing is wrong you should see beyond that shit you should see beyond like the ties and be like wait a minute something is wrong here and it just makes me think of what um is going on in twisted wonderland with uh um with riddle because uh, something that a uh, was it ace something that ace said is that not helping your friend doing this um because you know that you know what's going on with riddle is a huge problem and instead of helping um instead of helping riddle uh with this with uh um the totalitarian uh, slash authoritarian behavior that uh his mother like re reinforced into him you're enabling it when you know it's a problem that's what's going on here. That's why I bring this up. Is and go read Twisted, go read Twisted Wonderland. So good. Um, you're reinforcing it here. You're enabling it here. If you really wanted to help Mikey, you wouldn't be enabling this behavior. You wouldn't. And that's what Anufi was really saying. Why are you enabling this behavior? Why? If you cared about Mikey and if you cared about what you know, what um, bro, uh, you know, what big bro was uh, wanted of what he would want for Mikey, you wouldn't be doing this. You wouldn't be um, enforcing this. You would do everything you can to be helping um, Mikey. Because you know Mikey is crying for help deep in there. You know he is. Because he, deep inside that darkness, just like we've seen with uh, um, Shigaraki and with Toya up in Boko no Hero Academia and hell, even with Nameless Number Six and Vigilantes, he's just as, and also, you know what? I'm going to include Hamue up in uh, Fire Force. They are just, they are just scared little kids. They are crying for help. They are. Just saying. This isn't like um, Fukuchi, who's a complete lost cause or move on who's just uh, he is a fucking lost cause too now nah, mikey ain't like that mm -mm. we know anyways i'm very curious and probably it's the same case with riddle riddle is just riddle don't yeah Riddle don't know any better but you know his friends could help him along the way and riddle's a 
complete mama's boy. Let's be fucking real. Huh. But Mikey is just stuck. He is stuck in this darkness and he needs his friend. He can't get out of that darkness himself. He can't. And people are taking advantage of him. And that's, it's terrible. It really is. And he needs his, he needs his bros to help him get out of it. Not enable it. I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. Um, I think this chapter kind of reinforces that if you, if you think about it, that's what, that's what I'm getting from it. Um, with, uh, with this whole thing with the newbie and, um, and Coco, I really feel like this is some foreshadowing of what's to come in this fight, especially with Mikey. And I hope I'm right on that. Cause, cause that to me would just make the most sense. Um, and hell it kind of is, it, we kind of saw this, um, before Takamichi went back in time, uh, this final time that this is what's going, what needs to basically happen. Let's be freaking real. But any, or what's really going down with Mikey is that he's really just this hurt little boy trapped in this darkness. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Tokyo Revengers content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.